Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode. I'm Jack Bigadu. I'm the Hood Sommelier. And today for me is Christmas. Uh, <laughs> I tell people that every year I have my what I call my whiskey Christmas day. And my whiskey Christmas day pretty much is art bag day. Um, what is art bag day? If you guys have been in the whiskey industry, you heard about Artbag. Artbag is a whiskey brand born on Isla, have been very innovative the, since they started. They go above and beyond to create whiskey that kind of get your brain thinking. One thing I really love about Artbag is that they respect the same rules that I've set when I created my channel or my brand and one of the rule is have a committee or a community or uh people that actually um come together to find the best flavor or vote on things of people that are drinking the whiskey i wish more brands can actually do that because it really gets people involved now anybody can join the committee so um, if you go on artbag.com, you can join the committee. So anybody can join the committee. But, but, uh, most of the time, major decision I made in the UK on Isla with other committee member. Now, what makes um, this day or what makes a specific day my Christmas is Artbag Day. Artbag Day is once a year. And people around the world, uh, as we use it, all the geek uh, the geeks, we the art begins around the world are always looking for a way to celebrate together. Usually how I celebrate is I go to my local place where we all love that peat and that beautiful smell of art bag. And we get together and we try art bags from all, uh, at least the last 10, 15 years past, we get a peg of of each of them and we're trying it and it's just a, a beautiful thing it brings people together to this year i will not be able to do it so i'm sharing it with you guys so it can be hopefully your tradition as well uh this year art bag day you can see on this t-shirt i'm wearing this beautiful t-shirt art bag when a little punk rock on us right uh this art bag day is a little different Last year, I believe we were traveling. We were going to future. Uh, uh, we are, we are, we are finding mystical animals. Uh, one of the things that happened with every art bag day, there is always a special art bag release. Um, crazy thing is, just like you heard it, um, when they are released, and keep that in mind every time you find any art bag bottle is there is what they call the regular release and the committee release. So people that are part of the committee kind of have their release because it's a little different than the regular release. So if you're a whiskey geek like me, it gives you an opportunity to kind of find more than one way that one whiskey can actually taste uh, or how we come out, right? So uh, this year, they came up with the art bag, art core, right? So a little bit of, you know, rock and roll <laughs> to the core, punk rock to the core, um, art core. And they're calling it the year or the release of the black malted barley. And the reason why is because, like I mentioned previously, art bag is always coming up with crazy innovation last year we had the art bag scorch which was pretty much barrels uh the whiskey was aged in barrel that were fully like overburned right overcharged to create that alligator kind of that scorch earth type of mentality um they came up with fermentation fermentation was pretty much an a great mistake that happened uh where you know, the, the fermentation of the uh, the wash went a little longer than it need to, but it became a, this beautiful mistake. Previous to that, you had the groove, the drums. The, so there are so many things that are coming out of Arbeck that are so different that 
Dr. Bill, the uh, the the uh, the the head distiller, the head um, Art Begin comes up with every year. Uh, you may have heard of the the Art Beg, um, what they call I I forget the the expression exactly, but it means under the ground, and that was an NFT that came out of Art Beg. So so many things come out of Art Beg, but the innovation is bar none. They are always pushing further and further and further to actually get something new but today for this art bag day i was lucky enough that i received a package uh, let me show you all this beautiful package from art bag to the core hardcore right beautiful beautiful package here from art bag they say art core and it came with this t-shirt that i'm wearing rock and roll um beautiful package here right look at that like being a spike of ball. So the intent of art, art core, art bag is that it's like a spark, a spike of ball. That black, you know, here, yeah, here come the black malt, right? Here, that's where I say, here come the black malt. And you can't, you almost can, can't help but to wonder if a whiskey had a personality, what would it be like, right? Uh, if it was soft or if it was, you know, exciting or if it was rock and roll. If music was, if music had anything to do with whiskey, would which one would you be? Would it be, you know, rock? Would you be country? What would you be, right? So this, this brings up a good point on how we see our music. This package pretty much have uh, some recipes that you can have. On our bed day that you can taste but we love the swag but really what do we what do we care about we care more about the whiskey right we want to taste it so this I'm lucky like I said that I have the art bag uh, the regular uh, edition that was released which is the, the regular uh, one for everybody so this is on your shelf right now i believe 119 or 130 is on your shelf right now is the art bed art core the regular release but i was also lucky enough to have the art bag art core the committee release and usually how do you know the difference just looking at any art bag bottle how do you know the difference between the regular release and the committee release there is always a committee stamp i'll show you guys there's always a committee step you usually look like a circle it will say special committee only and then you have the year on it so that's how you know pretty much how you know how you're you know if you're having a committee release or not so every time you're grabbing an art bag pay attention to that committee release sign so you will know so this year again uh, i'm just going to read straight out of the bottle it's from art bag distillery with more ups and down than the than the pull going, uh, punk come hardcore a while. It's not just about the maturation, but what happened up front. Center stage, made using black malt barley, roasted with to an inch of its life. This smoky, spiky spirit is for only the most hardcore of fans. So you're a fan to the core of art bag. You want to have this, and. Um, from what I read, black malt pretty much is once the malt is coming in and it, the the barley is coming in, pretty much it's been smoked so much that it look black. Uh, on That malt look black. But what we're going to do is, uh, you may ask yourself, why will I buy two or have a different one? Uh, I'm glad you asked the question. So the regular release is actually 46% ABV. But the committee release is actually 50.1% ABV. So uh, a little difference there in ABV. Uh, and I'm really want to try what, you know, want to see what the difference is. So without further ado, uh, let's try the regular release. And you guys are lucky. I didn't want to open it. Um, I wanted to make sure that I tried with you guys. <coughs> All right. Let's see.
black malt. I'm wondering what that's about. So I was expecting it from the color just to look darker for some reason when you hear the home of the black malt. But very light color. So I'm I, I'm wondering what how old is the maturation? But they say it's not about the maturation, it's about what happened on front. So it's very, very light as a whiskey. Uh, unless they use different cherries, most art bag usually are lighter on the color. I'm wondering if we're going to get all those banana note, tropical notes that you get on art bag. But let's get in and see what's about. Okay. Beautiful peat, beautiful, beautiful brine on the nose. Yeah. I'm not feeling the smoke. It's more of that beautiful peat that you get on the nose. So mostly just beautiful peat and fruity, quite fruity. Some stone fruit, a little citrusy, very citrusy. And every time I'm having any, any, any whiskey from Isla, I just feel that breeze right that beautiful breeze coming from the ocean um a little bit of that moss kind of smell hit me right away all right let's give it a taste mm. Ooh. okay okay it's quite, it's quite licorice. -y. I can see that now. Remind me of that black licorice that you get, but the fruity notes on front. Beautiful fruity note and light smoke come mid palate, but the finish definitely licorice. Kind of that dark. I can see that spike that they're talking about. It's like almost like a, like unpredictable, but. Let's give it another, another try. I was expecting it to be peatier, but I'm loving, it's like, it's not even like, it's a little licorice, but more like dark chocolate, dark chocolate, like very like cocoa-ish chocolate and just the citrus, the stone fruit on front, mid palate, that smoke is just lingering around. It just stays there. But really, you know, every year, one thing that happens is that everybody have their favorite. Like last year, people say, oh, I like the committee release better than the regular release. Some year you'll be like, oh, I like the regular release better than that. So this year, let's see, let me, let me hydrate and let's have the committee release, which is a higher ABV, to see if we're going to have a difference between the two. All right, this is the committee release. Like I mentioned previously, this is a 50.1% this is ABV. All right. Let's see. Okay. All right. Color is the same. Nothing different on the color here. Same light color. All right. Nose is a little more pungent. Much sweeter on the nose. Yeah, I'm loving this. This is where I think this is my sweet spot as far as the, the ABV and how it hits you right away. With a little bit of that ethanol and all the the strong sweet note of not as much of the smoke, but again, the really fruity. All right. Mmm. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. 
I'm enjoying this. The licorice that I got on the first, the non committee release, is not here at all. It's the smoke and just all the beautiful fruity notes. Like this takes me back to what I know as art bag, which is all the citrus, a little bit of tropical fruit, but yet you move on to that peat that linger around, but a little bit of that dash of smoke that you are so familiar with art bag. Beautiful smoke. I'm loving it. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm loving the comedian release. I'll be honest. I do have a favorite. Because um, I would definitely say if you're into more mellow and more darker fruit, you want the non committee release. But if you love those powerful fruit, peat, and just a burst of sunshine in your mouth with a little slice ABV there with that smoke, you want the committee release for sure. Hope this helped out. Hope you like this. Uh, thank you to all the people that are supporting us here, either on the podcast, on YouTube, or anywhere else. Thank to all the new Patreon that join uh, the Hood Sommelier Patreon. I hope I'm making you guys proud. Uh, to every new Patreon that just jump in, I want to say a special, special thank you for being here. Uh, this was my celebration of Art Bag Day. I'm, I'm looking forward to having more and more dream and I, I'm feeling the spike. I'm, I'm art back to the core. So I'm art core and I hope you guys actually get to enjoy uh, somewhere and pick up a bottle uh, leave in the comment. If you're able to grab a bottle, uh, the real question is how are you celebrating art bag day? How are you celebrating art bag day? I want to know. Uh, I told you guys how I do it. I want to know how you celebrate our big day. Put it in the comment, and I will see you around on the internet on June fourth for all this, uh, the all the celebration on artbag.com, on all the artbag uh, outlet on social media, so we can have a great time. See you next time, and peace. <laughs>